Come on! Good day, I'm Daryl, and I'm here because I've been tagged by Deidre Chavez and others to relate to you my experiences or how I would experience myself uh, on the first day of an Eagle Money Society. Well, the first thing I probably would do is accept the apologies of all the haters and deniers of equality. I would be really gracious and magnanimous and say, hey, I accept your apology. Forget about it. No, that probably wouldn't happen because they probably wouldn't uh, apologize. Uh, I think what I would do, well, you know, I don't know. I just don't really know. I thought about it for a while, and it's um, not something I can really wrap my brain around because we're so used to living with this calculation in our heads, how much money we're spending, how much money we're getting, how much uh, we need, how much we would love to have how much we fear to lose. And it just continues day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Until all that's left of the world is money and the fear of losing it and the desire to have it. So if we, I mean, if we have never lived a life without the necessity of surviving, on our own, which means we've been atomized into separate beings all having the same design, the same problems, the same necessity, the same needs, but we are screwing about in different directions. I mean, that's how we live. I mean, uh, we form groups. Eventually, we will form a global group. And we will see that we're stronger in numbers than a single atom. Equal money would be something that we really need. Uh, Equal money would be equal money. Equal money. Equal money is the repudiation of the way we've lived. It's the acceptance of the fact that we are all equal because we are all human beings and that we've been placed here on this world to get along, not to destroy and dominate. I mean, people have done that, and that's how it's gone, because certain things that happened uh, that they couldn't overcome. Uh, there's always been masses of people being directed by a few very smart, usually men, place themselves very slyly and uh, cleverly and sinister, sinisterly in the positions of power. But in an equal money society, uh, which people, the haters will complain would be a dystopian, Orwellian nightmare. Actually, what it would be is the, the common sense solution to our problems. Now, it's, there's going to be other problems because we are not going to be able to, to escape the consequences of polluting this world and uh, 
decimating its resources. I mean, there's going to be a bill to be paid uh, when the theory of infinite growth, growth runs headlong into declining resources. I mean, something's going to give, and guess what's going to give? It's going to be the economies of the world. So, you know, if I wake up in an equal money society, I'm not going to be thinking it's we've reached the end of the road and we're going to be in paradise now. If hopefully it'll prepare us for a new future of diminishing, diminishing resources and making do with less. You know, making do with less. We may keep the infrastructures for a while. They may serve us for, who knows, as long as we can uh, keep it going, but they're gonna have to find new ways of socializing. We're going to have to step back from wanting to control and dominate uh, what is here on Earth. Because Earth's going to have the final say. Have you noticed the strange weather lately? I mean, if Earth, if Earth is a being gradually becoming conscious of itself, oh my gosh. It might be a problem for us. So, I said all that to say this. Uh, I wouldn't be, I mean, I'd be happier than what I am now, having to pay for my survival. And that would be moved, removed, and that would be a great thing. But it's not going to be uh, the ultimate answer. Because we're still going to have to uh, walk through the consequences of what we've done up to this point, up to the point of actually st standing back and saying, okay, economic equality, is the way to sensibly share what is here and not to let a few hoard it up for everyone. So, we will see.